Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I would like to start off by saying thank you, thank you to all the love and support I've been getting lately on my most recent videos. Thank you to my new subscribers. It's definitely appreciated. But let's get into this. Today I recorded this look for you guys. It is all 100% drugstore. It is super duper easy. It's, it's such a budget friendly tutorial. It's so beginner friendly because it's neutral. You can do many looks with it. I did use um, the Maybelline Nudes palette to do this tutorial. I think this palette is amazing for it to only be $10. Um, it comes with a lot of neutral and bronze-like colors in it. So I already filled in my eyebrows. I used the Wet n Wild dark brown eyebrow pencil. I got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I cleaned them up in the color um, Toffee by LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer and use it for my primer on my eyes. Okay. Although we are using the Maybelline Nudes palette for our eyeshadow look, I don't like any of the colors in there for my transitional color because I'm more of a warm tone girl, girl when it comes to transition colors. So I'm going to use the Nude um, Matte Shadow by NYX and it is in the color Dance with the Tides. And I'm going to put that in my transition area. Going in with the Maybelline Nudes palette. And I'm going to put that into my crease area. So next I'm going to go in with the color on the bottom row, the first color on the bottom row. I'm going to spray my eyeshadow brush with e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Wetting your brush is going to help with picking up the color because it is like a shimmery color. And I'm just going to pack that on to my lid. Now I'm going to go in with the last color on the top row. put that on the outside corners of my eye and kind of create a little V almost. And I'm going to blend that out into my crease to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Going back in with that shimmery color just to kind of Fix it a little bit from the creasing we've done. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing liner using LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Now I'm just gonna prep my eyelashes for my false eyelashes. And my lashes are super curly so I like to curl them upside down to kind of straighten them out a little bit. So for my eyelashes, I will be using the Ardell Wispies. If you get the deluxe pack, especially if you are a beginner, it is amazing. I could not put on eyelashes until I got this. It comes with two pairs of wispy lashes in black a lash applicator as well as the um, duo adhesive. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm gonna go back in with that very dark brown color. I deepen my outer V up a little bit since we added the eyeliner. 
Staying in the Maybelline spirit, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Prime. It is the Blur and Smooth Primer, and it's the white one. foundation I'm gonna use Maybelline fits me the matte and poreless foundation in the color 355 coconut I'm gonna take my real techniques beauty sponge to buff that out I'm gonna use my beauty sponge for this as well. So I'm gonna be using my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in the color Neutral Light. And I'm pressing that into my skin, not like rubbing it or anything. And for contouring to add definition back to my face, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. With this bag, I'm gonna add some definition to the lower part of my eye. I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in the color black. I'm gonna put this into my waterline. Going in with the brown that we put into our crease. I'm gonna smoke out my under eye. Now I'm going to use the first color on the palette. I'm gonna place that into my inner tear duct to pop it. Go ahead and spray your brush for this part too because it's a shimmery color as well. Now I'm gonna dust away all my powder. I'm gonna add some mascara to my eyelashes. I'm using the L'Oreal Miss Manga. Blend them in with my false eyelashes and also adding mascara to the bottom lashes. So now I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance um, Pressed Powder in the color Ebony. I don't do this step very often, but I am gonna do it today. And I'm gonna let it bake, I just put it on there and then wipe it off. So for highlight, I'm gonna use this 
gold shimmery color in this Revolution um, Ultra Bronze Palette. It's from Ulta for $10. I think it's a really good investment, especially if you're somebody who's lighter than me, because it has eight colors in it. Three colors are supposed to be shimmery, three colors are supposed to be matte, and then two of the colors are um, baked. We're going to use this gold color for my highlights. Do y'all see this beautiful color? gonna go in with this baked bronze color and put this um, under my brow bone to highlight so add a little something and also on my nose and Cupid's bow For blush, I'm going to go into my e.l.f. blush palette. This is the one in dark. And I'm going to use the peachy and the pink color together. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. What I love so much about this look is it's so neutral so it can go with so many lip colors. 